Hello guys, welcome back to Maze on African Motives, still on uh, engineering science N1. Uh, in this part, we are going to be focusing on the particle structure of matter, uh, having a reference question paper that you're going to be working with uh, from the question paper, which was written in July 2022. So we are given on question number nine, uh, the following table shows the changes in the phases of matter. All right, so these are the changes that we are given. Complete the table by writing only the answer next to the question number, okay? So a given, uh, here we have got heat increase, okay? That is melting. So what is it that is going to uh, yeah, happen in this case when there is an increase in heat, all right? Then you've got gas, then we have got a solid heat decreasing, then we've got condensation, okay? So what is going to happen here is just we are filling in, okay? So let's check on 9.11 from the melting process. If you increase the heat, so this is now evaporation. We are now evaporating here. So this will be evaporation, all right? So that's an evaporation here. Then let's check from the gas now, going back, if the heat decreases, then what is it that is happening from this part up to the solid? All right, so that is solidification. So this one uh, from the 9.13 uh, here from gas before solid, we have got a liquid here. So it's gas to liquid, then to, to solid. So this is a liquid. You take note, these are stages. We've got a solid here. Then we have got a liquid at this point. Then we have got a gas. So this is a liquid, okay? then. From the change of heat here, it's condensation. Then we have got 9.12. When the heat continues to decrease, for you to obtain this solid, that is the solidification in this case. So this is going to be uh, solidification. All right. So these are the stages that we're supposed to have. All right, 9.2. A change in temperature can change the phase of matter. The change in phase changes the movement of particles. Discuss the movement of particles in the following phases. So the question is asking uh, is uh, asking you to state what is it, the, the, what is it that we have in terms of the movement? Do we have uh, the, in terms of movement? Is it fast? Is it slow or a moderate? Something like that. So in the liquid phase, how is the movement of the particles? If we are referring to the liquid phase. Okay, so for the liquid phase, the particles, they are further apart, all right? So here, the particles are further apart, all right? Particles are further apart. And also in terms of the movement, okay, because this is a comparison. So they are further apart, okay, than in what? Than in solid, than in solid. So here you can write, it's further apart. Then also in terms of the movement, these are more, more faster. All right, so you can check that and they move more faster and move uh, faster than in a solid, okay? So you are comparing with a solid in this case, okay? Then in the solid phase, we are now having particles which are so close to one another and the movement is, they, they actually vibrate if you are dealing with a solid phase, okay? So here the particles are close and they actually vibrate or there is a very, they move very slowly, okay? Or very slow or they just vibrate in this case. All right, so that is what you're going to have in a solid. Uh, on 9.3, we are given fig for below shows a simple atom. So this is an atom. So take note, they can ask you to draw the structure of an atom. Or you can be given a question like this, where already they've drawn this atom and they want you to answer by filling in, all right? So the question is, uh, uh, from this writing only the answer, okay? So you're going to write what is represented by, okay? 9.31, so this is E for the electron, okay? So this is an electron with a negative, okay? So that's an electron in this case, okay? So we are given to indicate it and its electrical charge. So we want to name the part and the electrical charge. So electron is negative, okay? 
So this is negative. So please answer the question. The question is you must name the part indicated and its electrical charge, okay? 9.32 is representing N. So N is for the neutron, okay? We are now inside the nucleus. So inside the nucleus, we have got the neutron and the proton, okay? So this is a neutron. So this is going to be your neutron. And we know that the neutron has got no charge or it is neutral. So this one is no charge or it is neutral, okay? 9.33. Uh, it's showing the outer part here, which is the shell. This is a shell. This one is actually representing the nucleus, okay? So this is the nucleus, okay? So that's the nucleus. All right, so the nucleus is the one that has got what? The protons and what? The neutrons. So the P here is for the, for the protons, okay? So these are protons which are positively charged, okay? So these ones, they are positive or positively charged. Okay, so that was uh, uh, what you needed from this person. Uh, then the last part on 9.4 uh, was for you to define an element. Okay, what is an element? So you know that an element is a material. So that's a material or substance. So you can name this as a material or substance that consists of one type of alloy. So that consists, all right? So it consists of one type, okay? Of one type, that's one type in this case of atom, all right? Of atom only, all right? So an element, it consists of one type of atom, all right? So that is what we had in this case. So that was uh, question nine uh, on particle structure of matter. So as you can see, these questions, it's a repetition. Sometimes they ask you to draw. Sometimes they draw the question for you. They, they ask you now to label the diagram. So please make sure that you revise your diagrams. It's very, very important as you are studying. So that's what we had, guys, uh, from this question paper for Maison African Motives till we meet again.